take a stately home, an insurance company, a car park and lots of green space at Cliss St Mary and you've got yourself a planning battle. Notices have gone up around the village indicating Friends Provident wish to knock down an empty 70s office block, dig up the car park and build lots of houses with plans for a very large estate. Not everyone's happy. The parish council, backed by locals, are opposed to development. Resident Peter Simmons is part of the Save St Mary campaign. I'm Peter Simmons. I've lived in Clist Mary for the past uh, 22 years. Um, and I got involved in the Save Clist Mary campaign just a fortnight ago uh, when I realised just how many houses were going to be built around us which will fundamentally change the character of the village. So I got on board the campaign and uh, set up a website, built the website over the weekend and it's uh, we had a phenomenal response because of the website and it really, it's really helping the campaign to, to build momentum. And you were saying that um, the, uh, the um, amount of houses that are in the pipeline would completely alter the village? Yes, I think they would. We think there's about 500 houses currently in the village and on the plans there's at least a, something like 520 more houses proposed, which is a, a huge increase. But will it really change the village? and outstretch the resources and indeed jam up the local roads. Well Friends Provident used to employ more than a thousand people in the city but the numbers are now down to around 300. They say they'll find them all jobs in their other offices or they'll receive generous redundancy packages if they close or indeed sell the site. So what do you think? Are the residents NIMBYs or do they have a point with the development swamping their village and with yet more Devon countryside being lost? Let us know your views at echo news at express and echo dot co dot uk and you can make your thoughts known on our Twitter and our Facebook sites. We'd love to hear from you.